just incredible to see how this receiver drifts. Uh, this is a Morse code amateur signal, uh, just below, uh, just a little, a little bit above 14 megahertz on the 20 meter band. And uh, if I zero beat on it, just listen. If I don't touch the radio, how the tone changes real fast. Trying to get another one here. Here it goes. Look at this. So you gotta constantly readjust, and this is one of the plagues of this radio. The fact that it was just so unstable um, meant that listening to amateur uh, signal, single sideband, first of all, it's a little difficult because uh, if the signal, the single sideband signal is too strong, kinds of, uh, it's just so strong that you just have difficulty even just narrowing down the voice with the BFO here. But also the drift, the drift means that you, you know, readjust it all the time on this radio. Uh, I believe there's a mod that I've, uh, I think I've seen on the internet where you can actually make this radio a little better. But, uh, when I look at the radio, I'm just amazed at how I, you know, listen to the world with this and even listen to so many amateur and, uh, even decoded some, uh, radio teletype back then using the uh, Commodore 64 SWL cartridge but man it was tough and another thing that plagues this radio is the fact that it's a single conversion design so it has images all the time so about 910 kilohertz below or above you get these ghostly images of stations so um, if you know for something especially for somebody who was new to shortwave it was just uh, you know difficult because you didn't know what frequency you were listening to and I remember a few reception reports I had sent speculating the frequency by watching my display and you know them telling me well no we're not on that frequency and uh, I can understand, you know, it was complicated to really know where you were with this analog dial also. Nonetheless, this really made my day. And for about three years was my main shortwave radio anyways, until I got a DX302 that are fortunately I sold a long time ago and uh, I shouldn't have um, it was a nice little radio so uh, these are the quirks and quirks of this realistic DX100 uh, but still you know what uh, I was listening to uh, some stations earlier and still listening to shortwave this afternoon with it and actually brings me back in time I have the impression that I'm uh, you know listening to shortwave in the 80s just wish that you know there were so many singles like back in the 80s so, hope you enjoyed this uh, series of videos on this uh, DX100 this afternoon. Just thought I'd take along an old radio and tune the dials. Uh, I think it's just cool.